Oh lordy dordy, the children are in trouble. Addison Ray is going to have to stop shaking that booty and start working at Tesco's because she is in trouble. The United States is preparing to ban TikTok. Now, if you would have asked me this and told me they were going to ban TikTok a year ago, I would have probably said that is like the best thing ever. It's a problem. I deleted TikTok because you just spend hours just flicking through dog shit. You know, suddenly I'm a chef, suddenly I'm into Final Fantasy, suddenly I'm into weird anime shows I've never seen because I just want to see the highlights. It takes you on a a roller coaster and that roller coaster never stops it goes round and round and round until you actually have to delete the app you just have to jump off and hope you don't die i deleted tiktok because i was just wasting my life i wasted so much time on it but this man has said a very interesting thing as to why the americans are wanting to ban it so the chinese are obviously own it they have a lot of information on everyone which is one thing or another but facebook obviously owned by well who knows where it's owned by basically the u.s government to stalk people that's what facebook is it's a way of farming information and stalking people and continuing to wear to know where you are. Watch what this man has to say about it. It's very interesting. I'm gonna be honest with you. Everybody's talking about this. And yes, I appreciate his accent. He's very hillbilly and don't do him no favours, but just get past the accent and just listen to this man speak and I'm fairly certain he is in a tractor. Yes, that is right. I think I'd rather the Chinese know my address and, and everything about me rather than the US government. What does the government even do? <laughs> it's a valid point. What does the government even do other than steal your money and ruin your day? That's what I keep getting told and keep it happening to me. It's terrible. It's terrible. Horrible. No good. No good. But it's a valid point. Who would you rather stalk you and knew your information? The government? I suppose, yeah, they probably know your information anyway. But you know what I mean? It's the Chinese aren't going to do anything from over there. They don't give a shit what you're searching on TikTok. And it's more of the premise, isn't it? That how can the government then control and tell you what you can spend time on? And they're saying, well, we don't own this, so you can't do it. Bro, America's all about free speech you know you have the right to believe what you want and what you think and what you say it might get you in trouble but that's the point of america i think something is very stinky they've said if the chinese company bite dance don't sell the platform they're gonna ban it i think this is dog shit i think they have got something seriously fucking sinister in their back pockets how can the americans ban tiktok or 140 million americans use it apparently which is a hell of a number so they basically said that the chinese company is collecting sensitive data so they're trying to say that the chinese Chinese are the bad guys, but really the Americans just want the data. That's the difference. They don't give a shit about the data. They give a shit that they can't have it. They want to have all this data on you so they can know everything about you, where you live, what you do, what you like, what you comment, what you having for tea. You know, shit like that. Soon there will be no, well, there already is nothing you can do without being stalked and harassed and oh my goodness me. It's bad. It's bad. And like the man said, who would you rather had it? The Americans or the Chinese? In fact, they're not trying to ban TikTok for the reason that it's owned by China. You know how I know that? Because it's not fucking owned by China. It's just fucking not. 60% of the company is owned by international investors, including U.S. investors. 20% is owned by its founders. The other 20% is owned by the employees, nearly 10,000 of which are U.S. citizens. And I know they're not trying to ban it to protect the private information of Americans from the CCP. Do you know how I know that? Because all American user information is on servers in Texas, already overseen by a U.S. company called Oracle. So we know it's not because it's owned by China. We know it's not to protect our personal information. Very interesting stuff. So he's basically saying, seeing through the bullshit, like I think a lot of us are these days. I think after this whole COVID, let's be honest, fast, this COVID bullshit, I think it's very hard to trust the government. And to say that they're doing this to help Americans and then he's brought out this fact again. How do you know it's true? This, that and the other. Okay, I get you. But I, I do believe in the premise of it. And it's that this is not because the Chinese government own it. You know, someone smarter than me will be able to work out if that's true or false. And I I think it probably is true. However, it's because the government, the US government, don't have control of it, like Facebook and other things. They control it. So the only valid question is, why do they want to ban it? And the answer to that is this isn't about TikTok. If you actually take the time and read through the bill that they just passed, there's one very important thing that this bill allows them to do. And that is to shut down or take control of any social media platform that they claim interferes with the election. Oh. Do you hear that? So if something doesn't go the way they want in the election, i.e. Joe Biden winning, that fucking senile idiot. Don't get me wrong, I don't like Donald Trump, but how the f- If you're an American, how can you vote for Joe Biden? Seriously, you want that man, the head of your country? Look at the wars that have started since he took office, but that's another question. So if you go against, let's say, oh, I, you make a TikTok, I don't like Joe Biden because A, B, and C. They are able to then keep that content, you know, they might not delete it, but they'll hide it. They'll keep it really in a small, minute corridor where not every 
everyone no one will be able to see it really so they'll control who sees it how many views you get that sort of thing and it's not gonna it's not gonna help people like content creators on TikTok, whatever you want to call them but these you know the government controlling who sees the content and what they want if they if they see something oh, we don't agree with that that goes against us delete it get rid of it hide it you know, that's not free speech bro that's not america who would make that determination president the president would have complete power on whether or not to shut down a social media platform oh and if that platform wanted to appeal it that is going to be ruled by the dc court of appeals this concentrates power over all social media platforms that don't want to get in line that don't want to give the government what they want that don't want to do what the government says that's all this is about see that's why facebook and uh, you know donald trump called facebook an enemy of the state see I, i'm really confused why donald trump's saying this but you know he must know stuff that we don't and I, you know probably he does he's the he was the president he probably knows a lot of shit that goes on behind the scenes that if got out would be horrific you see all this like you know joe um donald trump had files at his and then joe biden's son did crack and had files at his they would just control the narrative and say donald trump had these files they would stop all negative press and beliefs and conversations about whoever it is because it goes against their policy and against their party that's not free speech bro that's scary that shit is scary. One thing about America, if shit turns like this, you're going to be fucking glad you have an AK-47, aren't you? You're going to be glad that you have a Glock in your back pocket because I tell you now, in the UK, if they start doing this sort of shit, I'm going to find the biggest bazooka I possibly can, load it to the front of my house, have a sensor on my garage, and if everyone crosses, mate, bada bing, bada boom, I'm seeing your coins like we're playing Mario because you've just got blown sky high, bro. They tried to do this before. They tried to do it with Facebook and Instagram, but Facebook and Instagram got in line. They didn't do it with Twitter for a while because Twitter was doing what they told them to do. But then once Elon bought it, they tried it again because X wouldn't get in line. But they couldn't build up enough support for that. One, because Elon's a fucking billionaire. And two, because he's an American who's liked and they couldn't get enough support to shut him down. I have to admit, I think one of the best things for free speech in society is that Elon bought Twitter. Whatever your opinion on Elon is, I think he's quite funny, but you know, whatever, what have you. Buying Twitter allows no, allows free speech. Unfortunately, people with free speech have good and bad opinions. Some might be horrible and sexist and racist. Others might be too left and really nice, all right? They're all annoying. The left and the right are fucking idiots, all right? This is old fashioned, bro. We need to evolve. There is no left and right. There is opinions and beliefs. I'm not on the right, I'm not on the left, and I'm not in the middle. I'm not part of this politics bullshit. Because everyone and anyone in politics doesn't care about you. All they care about is money and becoming president or leading a country into another war. That's all they give a shit about because they want to be famous and remembered. Elon buying Twitter has allowed for free speech to be on the internet forever. And he owns it. Obviously, free speech allows idiots to speak, and that's just unfortunate. That's how it's always been. That idiots spoke 3 billion years ago or 3,000 years ago, whatever. They just weren't able to tweet eat it on a computer and have it there forever. That's the difference between now and then. And it's ironic how this guy's actually made a TikTok about it, I've just realized, fuck me. So now they're trying it again using the specter of Chinese own. Aren't you worried about your privacy? No, if I was worried about my privacy, I wouldn't use Google. I wouldn't use Alexa. I wouldn't shop on Amazon. I wouldn't use facial recognition on my phone. I wouldn't go on Facebook and Instagram because we know there's- That shit's fucking scary, bro. All that stuff you do, I, I have to admit, I'm going a bit senile and crazy. I'm starting to like block my phone out. I've turned off Face ID. I've deleted it all because I don't want that shit. There's facial cameras that can follow you and find you. Bro, don't you need permission to stalk people? You know, stalking gets you in jail, but the governments do it for free. They can literally follow us round on cameras, find where we live. If you do that in real life, you get sent to fucking jail. You know, you have your mugshot put on Facebook saying, have you seen this man for stalking? You know, <sighs> Stealing our information. I wouldn't hold this phone in my hand because we all know it's listening. And people are wondering why the government was able to come together in a agree on this? Why wouldn't they? Why would the government not come together and agree on granting themselves power? Because that's all this bill does. It takes away your right to privacy and communication and gives it to them. What a fucking video. Shout out to this guy. His name's the older Miller Miller millennial.1. Go give him a follow. I've never heard him, but th that video was absolutely eye-opening. Everything he said is an absolute fact. It's a figure. It's the truth. Facebook, Instagram, they all got in line and they give all their information to the Americans or the government, whoever it is. But the Americans don't like the Chinese. You know what I mean? And don't get me wrong, the media makes these Chinese out to be villainous. I can tell you if the Chinese government's villainous. They just tell me you're communist bad. Like, well, is a communist bad? I don't fucking know. They seem to be doing pretty fucking well over there. Like, you know what I mean? China's been the most growing economy ever.
In conclusion, guys, this is serious shit. I am seriously worried. If you're an American, I recommend loading up on that 9mm ammo because shit is about to get hairy. Bro, sh ugh. God. Seriously though, look after yourselves guys. Remember, the government literally control everything. It's not even tinfoil hat at this point. You know what I mean? It's the people who have tinfoil hats who have been right the whole time. You know, maybe we should have put on the tinfoil hats to start with and we'd be in a better place. Who knows? Look, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like. It just helps more people see it. And because I'm going against Jill and Bill, what's it called? Jill and Joe Biden. They're going to block it. No one's going to see this video because I'm talking shit. Watch it. But thank you. Take care.